sensor in here that can tell my turn and angle. Um, so, for example, we go, let's go forward. As you can see, the, uh, the uh, uh, handlebars there are able to turn based on my angle of turn of the one. Um, and it also measures forward and backward motion. So, inside of it, there's an accelerometer that measures the angular um, position of the one. So as I go backwards and forward with the one, basically shows, uh, translates to the robot um, either in the backwards, a lean back, or a forward motion. The other thing that's inside also, um, in the front there, you'll notice there is a uh, flywheel that exists. So most people wonder, you know, how is a robot able to do freestanding? Inside, let's back up a little bit. Inside there is a flywheel that you notice is spinning. And that flywheel basically maintain, helps it maintains that, that balance along with the gyro system that's inside. So there's a small window of movement that it can do and um, basically you can do one degree to the left or the right before it basically loses its balance. Um, at this point, by that flywheel going back and forth compensating, it's able to uh, uh, it's able to basically keep its uh, position. So within a certain area, basically as you can see, it basically restabilizes itself. That flywheel in the middle, you can kind of see it moving consistently to make sure it stays in balance. If we ask Murata Boy a question, you know, they ain't sorry to say no. I didn't ask him anything yet. Um, so, let's see. Oh, you know what? Yesterday, we, we had a rough trip from Houston, didn't we? <laughs> uh, did you enjoy sitting in the back seat? Okay. <laughs> Did you want to fly or drive? Oh, yeah, you know I didn't ask the right question. Uh, Did you want to fly? <laughs> Only yes or no. <laughs> so, yeah, we ain't got the talking thing now yet, but at least we can get yes or no down. <laughs> <laughs>